talk to me, spirit. I have already said with the ancestors, I am the voice of the voices. Let's give them something to talk about. What's popping? What's going on? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you like the words that's coming out of my mouth, hit that subscribe button, like, share, uh, comment. What's popping, my Talk To Me spirit, uh, spirit family? What is going on? Let's see what messages are going to come out for y'all today. Strategy. Spirit is saying it's time for y'all to uh, change y'all strategy. Once again, things are moving in uh, in, in slow motion for a lot of y'all because Spirit is changing your strategy. They got you moving in silence because y'all revealing too much. So Spirit is having y'all move in silence. A lot of y'all are needing a lot of rest and rejuvenation. A lot of meditation is required. Okay, during meditation, you're going to become one with the divine. You become a one with your uh, power animals and your spirit guides at this time. Okay, so a lot of meditation. I did a meditation yesterday. I hope a lot of that helped y'all. So meditation is very key at this time because you're going through a lot of uh, transitioning, a lot of transformation. Like I said, spirit is changing your strategy. A lot of y'all spirit want y'all to start showing appreciation for the small things. When you start showing appreciation for the small things, you're going to start seeing the bigger things and then you will be able to appreciate the value. Sometimes we be unappreciated sometimes when God blesses us. So God wants you to start showing appreciation for the small things, okay? A lot of y'all, by y'all resting and ju uh, rejuvenating and moving in silence and changing your strategy, doors are opening up for you at this time. You could be born September 24th. You could be 24 years old. 24 breaks down to 6. A lot of victory for you. And you're starting to appreciate doors closing for you and doors opening for you. You could be born the 15th of this month. You could have a 15-year-old. 15 breaks down to 6. Like I said, a lot of rejuvenation, a lot of rest and meditation at this time. Because you're getting downloads. You're going through a spiritual transformation. Doors are opening up to your carnacopia. Okay, you in your head thinking, Spirit is saying, a lot of y'all got to let go and let God. Okay, y'all going through this major transformation. Y'all in y'all head too much. Spirit is saying, start journaling into your cup. Y'all have a lot of mental clutter. A lot of y'all, y'all root chakra is being worked on. Call upon Archangel Michael to help you during this transformation, during these spiritual attacks that you're going through. All right? What else do they need to know, Spirit, during this time? A lot of y'all could be seeing 11, 11. 11 breaks down to 2, duality. Y'all stepping into balance, okay? A win-win outcome is in the forecast. By you meditating, your enemies will be defeated. Show the world the real you by letting these doors open, moving in silence, and changing your strategy. Spirituality is like chess. It's a mental thing. So you have to stay out of your head. When people are attacking you, just understand your God is more powerful. You got to get out of your head. Because when you feed upon it, it grows. You're feeding it oxygen. Your commitment is being tested at this time. That's why I'm saying meditation is going to be very important for you at this time. Because we are under spiritual warfare. And a lot of y'all going through spiritual attacks because you're elevating higher you're very close to achieving your goals that's the reason why the enemy is attacking you that's why you catching h-e-double-l hockey sticks at this time it's because you're close to your breakthrough your dreams need a practical plan this is why i'm saying journaling emptying emptying out your cup rest and rejuvenation and meditating is going to be very important 
call upon Michael, uh, Archangel Michael, to help you during this time. He is a very powerful warrior. Spirit wants you to know your hard work is paying off. That's why doors are opening up for you and you walking into your cornucopia. Have faith in your dreams because if you don't believe in you, baby, no one is going to believe in you. So this is all about you. They are working on your root chakra, your solar and sacral chakra at this time. Sacred cycles. You're like I said, you're going through these moon phases. We just went through in the month of August. We went through the um, the moon in Aquarius. Then we went in the new moon in Leo. Then we went through the Lion's Gate portal August 8th. Then we went out with the blue moon in Pisces. So now we get ready to go in the new moon in Virgo. And we're going to be exiting out with the moon in Aries. So a lot of y'all getting affected by these moon cycles. Y'all being connected to the divine. Your crown chakra is opening. Like I said, you feeling tingling around your crown chakra. You're going through a transformation which is going to go into your rebirth. A lot of your chakras are being unblocked, especially your solar, sacral, and root chakra. You are going through a major transformation. You are going through a healing phase right now. So a lot of resting, hermit mode, meditation, journaling is going to be sufficient for you at this time a lot of y'all y'all pandora box is special gifts that you didn't know how you had it's getting ready to open up your eyes is the, the gateway to the soul so a lot of y'all y'all vision is going to change okay y'all going to be very clairvoyant a lot of y'all going to find out y'all a seer a lot of y'all going to find like y'all have the gift of cunning okay a lot of y'all going to find out y'all y'all very Claire Cosnet at this time. A lot of y'all star seeds are going to be affected also. You're going to start seeing more of the Pallades, the Arturians, Lumerians, the Cyrus A, Cyrus B, okay, coming up for you. You're activated. If you can get out in the sun, that will help uh, activate your DNA, okay? A lot of y'all are natural born healers, okay? Y'all getting a major upgrade during this rebirth and transformation. Especially y'all getting affected by these planets in retrograde. A lot of y'all getting ready to start y'all spiritual adventure. Number 55 can be significant. Okay. Y'all going further and further down the rabbit hole. Some of y'all are purging. You have to purge first before you go through an ascension. And a lot of y'all going through an ascension. A lot of y'all spirit is opening up your heart chakra. And you're going to start learning to forgive others and forgive yourself. You're going to start learning to show compassion to you. Which is going to lead to showing other people compassion. The number 99 can be significant. The number 55 breaks down to 10. 99 breaks down to 18 which break down to number nine which means the wounded healer okay you are a humanitarian so a lot of y'all gonna be showing compassion for other people people gonna say why are you so soft-hearted why are you so sensitive it's because you're changing you're more empathic you're a light bringer you get more sensitive to energy Spirits want y'all to follow y'all dream. Like I said, move in silence, change your strategy. A lot of y'all going to find out y'all have gifts y'all didn't know. Y'all Pandora box is going to open up. Okay, Spirit is saying follow your dreams. Do not let nobody's opinion crush your dreams. Because they're going to hate on you if you do. They're going to hate on you if you don't. So Spirit is saying do what you do, baby, because you do it best. A lot of new beginnings because you're going through this rebirth and transformation. And you're going to find out that you are a manifester. Okay? Pay attention to the sign. Let's see what the number 55 brings to the table. 55 means change. <coughs> change it for the better. Doors are opening up for you. Like I said, things will start looking different to you. You're going to start seeing things more spiritual. You're going to start seeing the truth. Your eyes are being opened. The veil is coming off your eyes. When you ask for what you want, your angels deliver. This has something to do with the manifestation. Like I said, be careful with the words you speak and your thought pattern. At the time is on its way. You are being told that your intentions are being taken seriously. Lie in meditation with your hands over your root chakra, the base of the spine. Repeat the mantra, I am ready for what is next. Who is the ruler over the root chakra? Archangel Michael. Ask him, ask him to break the hole, any bonds, any shangles, any contracts. Ask him to 
get rid of them. We're going to go into 99 completion. Okay, accept the changes to come. Like I said, you're starting to show compassion to you and you're starting to show compassion to others. There is a completion happening in your life. It's time to reflect on the lessons of the past so as to prepare for what is to come. And this can be painful, but your angels support you. Repeat this mantra. I accept positive changes in my life. Okay, they want you to start following your dreams. Okay, because you're going through a spiritual shift. 85 means you have a choice. Okay, the changes around you are inevitable. You have the choice to make them positive. Your angels ask you, as challenging as it may feel, to find one thing you can make better in your life. In the midst of all these shifts, journal about how you can activate positive change. What did I just say? Journaling, meditating, going in hermit mode, okay, moving in silence, changing your strategy because you're going to start new beginnings, all right? New beginnings is on the horizon. Let's see what other messages do you have for them, Spirit. Communicate. Communicating with your higher self. Communicating with your spirit team. Communicating to other people. Setting personal boundaries at this time. It's going to be very helpful for you. Shadow work. Forgiveness, showing compassion to you, becoming friends with the things you don't like about yourself. That inner child healing, all that healing and trauma that you have been holding on to. So you need to communicate with your inner child, your higher self, and do shadow work. And self-responsibility for your faults. Self-responsibilities for your errors. Okay, start accepting responsibility of putting yourself first. Then you'll be able to celebrate victory because you have overcame a lot of stuff. Okay, but, but setting personal boundaries, boundaries and putting yourself first, healing, doing shadow work, communicating with others, communicating with your higher self, communicating with your spiritual team. Okay, one more card, Spirit. We hate to accept responsibility for our fuck-ups, okay? Healing, go for it. Like I said, they're going to hate you if you don't. They're going to hate you if you do it, so you might as well do it. Avoid drama at this time. Mercury is getting ready to go in direct, but until it does that, avoid drama. Because people, misery loves company, okay? Transmute that negative into positive. Start using your intuition. Energy don't lie, people do. Okay, so start paying to your intuition. Avoid drama at this time because people want to bring you down to their level and you're elevating. Be responsible for you. What other messages? Spirit, show me clearly. Awakening, like I said, you're going through an awakening stage. You're waking up, you purging, which means a dark night of the soul. Then you're going through ascension, which is your elevation. Okay, the awakening process has begun. They now hold a new understanding of love and recognize the connection. A lot of y'all are going to avoid y'all twin flame. Okay, and then some of y'all, y'all twin flame is going to help y'all with y'all shadow work. You don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. Their higher self wants union as much as you do. Stuck in a loop. A lot of y'all stuck because you're not giving, now y'all not surrendering. Y'all want to control everything. A pattern has become familiar to them and they are wanting to break free from the same loop they keep repeating. Avoid drama because they're stuck and they want you to remain stuck. They are drowning you. Spirit is saying take responsibility of yourself Put your oxygen mask on first. Avoid drama because they stuck. They want you stuck. What are the messages for you? A lot of people are, are miserable, especially narcissists, dark empaths, 
okay? Energy vampires, they want to keep you stuck in a loop because they're stuck. Some of y'all are going to meet your twin flame. Remember I said there's three types of twin flames. There's a, a fake love, which is only about sex. Then you have the runner, the track star. Then you have the soulmate. So a lot of y'all are going to have a sexual union. And that's all that's going to be with this twin flame. Their greatest sex memory is with you. But it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. You're going to want more. But this one is going to help you with a lot of healing, trauma, shadow work. Okay? Spirit said you have choices. This is what I'm saying. Putting yourself first. Communicate. You have choices. There's a choice that you have to make. They they know time is not on their side and risk losing you forever if they don't. You have a choice if you want to be stuck and you think this is your happiness. You have a choice to find your happiness, okay? So a lot of y'all have been stuck in a loop. Spirit is saying you have a choice to avoid drama or to accept the drama. A lot of y'all is going to get the unexpected. The answers that you seek are coming, but when the answers arrive, it might be too late for you to move on. Sometimes it's not what you expect, okay? You expected something, and Spirit is saying, this is not the person that you want. But then for some of y'all, Spirit is saying, go for it. But a lot of y'all are walking away from bad choices. A lot of y'all are walking away from people that's keeping y'all stuck in the loop. A lot of y'all are walking away from just a friend with benefits because you want more. So a lot of y'all walking away and y'all starting to choose you, okay? Y'all walking away to loyalty. A lot of y'all walking into loyalty, people that's loyal to you and you are loyal to them, okay? A lot of changes, a lot of celebrations, special occasions because you're choosing you. You, choose, you chose your happiness, okay? So a lot of y'all are choosing you. A lot of y'all going to be celebrating victory, okay? For those that have a, a, a birthday, happy soul day. Spirit is saying someone lost a loved one and their birthday is arriving. Uh, happy uh, spiritual, earthly, heavenly birthday to you. A lot of y'all are getting ready, like I said, are not going to withhold y'all feelings. Y'all going to be straight, blunt. Y'all going to start setting personal boundaries because y'all walking away from the bullshit. Y'all choosing you. You chose to choose you. Okay, a lot of y'all getting ready to go on long distance trips. A lot of y'all are going to start showing compassion to others because you are healing. A lot of y'all get ready to find y'all soulmate, y'all twin flame soulmate. Once again, a lot of y'all are gonna go on long distance trip to find your soulmate, and it's gonna be on a vacation, and you're gonna meet your soulmate, okay? This person, y'all gonna be moving into uh, together. For some of y'all, not all of y'all. What other messages, spirit? Some of y'all are finding out that y'all the shit. Y'all finding out that y'all gone in the wind fabulous. You starting to find out that you truly love yourself. You starting to accept you. You starting to show compassion to you. You not withholding any information. You not withholding nothing no more. You stepping up to the plate said, if you can't accept me, then you don't deserve me. Okay, a lot of y'all are stepping up and y'all choosing you to get out of this loop. A lot of y'all avoiding drama. A lot of y'all is celebrating you. It took y'all long enough, but y'all finally celebrating you. And then a lot of y'all, like I said, y'all calling in y'all twin flame. Y'all are definitely getting out of your way. Y'all not holding back. Y'all are that phoenix rising. Okay, like I said, y'all choosing you, y'all starting to cut cords from these people that's holding you back, these dark impacts, okay? You're close to your breakthrough. Victory is yours. Victory is yours. You're standing your ground. You're returning back to your spiritual roots. You, you're turning into that, that very beautiful mariposa, that very beautiful butterfly that you're destined to be. Y'all walking your life purpose, okay? 77 could be significant to some of y'all. Completion, y'all have completed a cycle. Y'all doors are opening up for y'all. Y'all are not afraid to walk through those doors no more. Y'all healing. Y'all moving out of one situation into a better situation. Y'all refuse to be stuck in this loop. 
Y'all are expecting the unexpected. What you're seeking is seeking you. You're finding your soulmate. You're calling in your soulmate. You're celebrating you. Victory you. You're following your dreams. You're going. You're accepting this transformation. Your chakras are getting unblocked and aligned. Y'all getting that ten of cups, that happiness. Y'all going for it. Y'all are going for it. Y'all accepting y'all responsibility. You're accepting victory. Victory is yours. You're embracing your new spiritual journey, your spiritual life. What else do they need to know, Spirit? Congratulations. Victory is yours. Yep, y'all definitely calling in that male, that female. Some of y'all being pursued. Y'all going, y'all energy is changing. Okay, y'all starting to show compassion and love for y'all. Y'all healing those traumas, what's triggering you. Y'all starting to be bold. Y'all attracting that man, that woman that you desire that's coming in. And for some of y'all, like I said, it is a twin flame. Some of y'all going to have multiple love entrants. Conversations about you. They saying, who's that girl? La, 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 la. And then who's that boy too? Okay, people are talking about you. When you're walking in that room, all eyes is on you. You're walking it like you're talking it because your confidence is going up. You're no longer stuck in that loop. You're celebrating you. Yep. Love is in the air. Okay, calling in that male could be same sex also. Y'all getting that homie lover friend. Okay. This is the right timing. Y'all waited long enough. Y'all been patient. Y'all getting that cornucopia. Like I said, doors are opening up for y'all. Time would tell. For some of y'all, this is going to be y'all soulmate twin flame. And then some of y'all, like I said, is going to be sexual. This one, this sexual is going to help you with your healing that you got your triggering so you can call in your divine counterpart, okay? Twin flames are lessons, they're teachers. Y'all mirror one another. Some of y'all gonna have a baby with them, okay? Starting a new family. Some of y'all gonna get a ready-made family. These are very good positive changes, a lot of progress. Y'all starting to move on for what you thought was your happiness. Y'all getting out of that loop. Y'all embracing this transformation, this change, okay? Things are unfolding for you for the better. The dark cloud, the storm has passed over. Your current phase to a better phase. Like I said, y'all moving out of one situation to a better situation. Y'all setting personal boundaries. Y'all starting to say no. Y'all choosing y'all. Y'all understand things are denied. Your, things are rejected as God protection. Okay, y'all no longer feeling left out in the cold. Your ships have sailed. Some of y'all, y'all ships have the rise. Like I said, some of y'all get ready to go confirmation. A long distance trip. And y'all going to go with this significant other. And for some of y'all, y'all going to meet this significant other. A lot of traveling. Some of y'all significant other is going to be a foreigner. Okay. It's going to cause a lot of chaos because they're going to say, how did you get this relationship that you don't deserve this relationship? Spirit is saying, let them talk. A lot of y'all worrying and stressing out because y'all feel like stuff is not moving. It's because y'all still letting people keep y'all stuck in a loop. Y'all going to have to choose you. This is the time to choose you. This is what Spirit is saying. Reason why y'all not moving? Because y'all refuse to surrender. Y'all refuse to choose you. You still let people connect to people that you thought was your happiness. That is not your happiness. It's unhealthy love. And the sum of y'all relationship is going to end because Spirit is saying you deserve someone that knows your worth and your value. This person, you've been stuck in this loop for like 10 years, 8 years, okay? A lot of y'all going to get a snail mail, a personal text. They're going to start showing expression, how they feel about you. Communication is going to come in. Okay. 
showing that they've been interested in you. A lot of y'all, when y'all go in this healing or meditation, y'all going to start practicing self-love because y'all going to start doing shadow work. Y'all vibration is changing. Y'all starting to choose you so you can get out of this loop. Y'all not settling for nothing. Y'all start setting healthy boundaries. Y'all start prioritizing yourself. You're starting to say, no, you matter, okay? A lot of y'all, this tower moment is making y'all stronger. It's building you up. A lot of y'all got a controlling lover. That is about to end, okay? Because y'all starting to choose you, starting to set boundaries. Y'all going to be moving out, finding your own place. Y'all starting to see it was all about them. It was never about you. A lot of y'all starting to get spiritual messages. Y'all starting to get the uh, your soulmate is telepathy talking to you, telepathy. A lot of y'all get ready to start facing y'all shadow of work self in this month of September. Y'all seeing all the signs. Y'all starting to see who's for you and who's against you. You starting to see the betrayal. All the lies is coming to the surface. All this jealousy and deceit. Spirit is getting ready to show you who they are. And all those that's lying on you, is get, tables are getting ready to get turned on them. You're about to get victory. Doors are opening up for you. Archangel Michael is fighting for you. Doors are being unlocked. Your chakras are being unlocked. You're starting to follow your dreams. You're starting to put yourself first. Let's see. Let's get into some charms. Y'all moving on. Yep, you're seeing all type of signs. Shadow work. Knowing that you are the best thing. You are your own best friend. You are your own critic. Okay? Y'all could be dealing with a cancer, sun, moon, and rising. Also, we just went over the moon in cancer. So a lot of y'all's solar and sacral chakra is being worked on. Okay? A lot of y'all get ready to get freedom. Y'all moving on. A lot of traveling. Y'all connecting to y'all fairies. Y'all connecting. Y'all starting to see uh, dragonflies. There's a lot of signs and synchronicities during this time. Y'all starting to see jealousy of these people y'all thought was for you wasn't. I send you peace, love, and light. I say out.